two, one, go. So our fifth day at Laverine, um, this is a slightly delayed start to excavation because the torrential rain that was promised did arrive um, and we've had to invest quite a lot of time in protecting the site, in repairing the site um, and preparing it for excavation, which is finally happening at the top end of the trench. Um, now we can finally see that the deposits that we uncovered last year, we can look at our written records, our photographs, our drawings and the 3D models as well. There's nothing quite like being able to see and touch the, uh, the sediments which really tell the story of the whole site. Um, I'm currently standing in uh, a test pit which has been open since 2015 and has been the subject of much confusion and occasionally uh, the odd worrisome dream. We have a number of different geological units here, some of which are absolutely jam-packed full of worked stone tools. In other areas we have uh, what looks like burnt sediment, this hot pink unit here, and down here we have uh, a black, what looks like charcoal, but what we have found to be um, a real concentration of burnt bone. Our working hypothesis has been for the past two or three years now that this is a pit or possibly some sort of natural feature. The problem is with archaeology which is this old, around about 14, 14 and a half thousand years old, um, combined with the nature of the sediment, it makes distinguishing the former edges of these features really difficult. So what might be one feature could also be a number of different features which ideally we'd like to be able to pick apart and see which, uh, which pit cuts which pit um, and generate a fairly tight chronological narrative for this area of the site and ultimately we also want to marry it up with what's happening on the other side from where we've also got this large concentration of primary context flutes. Um, our objectives in this area this year are really to get to the bottom of it. We've only seen, uh, we've only captured the top, uh, the top of the, the pit, uh, which may have stones here collapsed into the top of it. Uh, they may have been placed there. Uh, they may have slid a very small distance down the slope. In a trench which uh, Letty and later excavating. At the end of last year we found um, some very degraded teeth, uh, they were rather squishy, um, so they're excavating very carefully and we're hoping to find some more, of, uh, some more organic evidence at the site which we're very lucky to find here. Um, and where Anna and where Emily have been excavating, uh, we are trying to extend our um, excavation in plan to capture the other side of this feature and uh, really see what shape it is, how deep it is, and what it's got in it.